Unbelievable. Uh, let's get into the comparison technique for those two big guns. Well, we should, right? Two of the game's very best, and, and it's fascinating to watch them both in their skating stride. But there are a couple of differences when you think about their skating style and in the excitement that they've brought to the game. But a couple of things, if you think about McDavid has a little bit less of a forward lean. So McDavid's, sh or, and uh, sorry, McKinnon's shoulders are further forward. And McKinnon also has a bit of a wider base. He loves the crossovers, but his shoulders are often towards the front of his skates or even in front of his skates as he continues his stride. I mean, he is so powerful and great on his edge work. If you look at that wide base to go side to side, and of course, just the beautiful finish for him. If you look at McDavid, he likes the crossovers as well. He seems to have a bit of a more narrow base with his crossovers and look at his shoulders here those are more so in the center of his body center of gravity where he keeps those shoulders more upright and for him I mean it's about being dynamic and being fast and of course for him the edge work and the explosiveness as well so yeah they look a little bit different when they're at their best but both of them have shown this level of, of determination to take their game to a new level and then both of them of course with the ability to dish or to finish beautifully so for both of them as well even though their leans are a bit different in terms of that style and how they want to skate there's always the weight on the front of their skates towards the ball of their skates so they're ready to be strong ready to be powerful and that's where they draw their speed from uh, just a general term what are the skaters going to be like in 10 years because we've never seen skaters like this up until now right you look at these two guys and I think for McKinnon though getting through that second round was really really important you know he talked about that frustration before and that can eat away at you I know a lot of players I know I experienced it once you finally get to the conference finals it's a big sigh of relief and I think for McKinnon you're going to see that and not to suggest that he wasn't outrageously good in the first two rounds but I think there's still another level there for McDavid Ron you talked about him reaching that new level before between uh, LA and Calgary well there's a bit of a dip in the last game but can he get to another level again and I think he may I mean these are two driven guys we've always known for the history of sports the best like to play against the best so this is going to be an incredible uh, series for us to watch you know you know Kelly the, you talked about it there you know why they're going to both going to get to higher levels because they've both had a taste now they both understand what it's like to get this far and do you think that's enough no it's not enough and our wives have a line for us and that is the eyes don't lie well you know what else doesn't lie the smiles don't lie you take a look McDavid now has a routine it's the it's the one knee routine you look at the celebration against LA you look at the celebration against Calgary you can't fake that you, you can't fake that excitement and you take a look oh this is the best one we're right. sure coming <laughs> off the ice like we don't see McDavid like that enough and it's been such a wonderful revelation McKinnon same deal when he scored that beautiful goal in game five and then when Darren Helm scored in game number six and the celebration the relief after they won you think this is going to be enough for either one of them? You think either one of them is going to consider a Western Conference loss a success? No, they're driven by this. They're driven by that feeling, and they want to so win So you're saying, more. okay, so we know about both of them, great skaters, but there are a couple of differences uh, in these playoffs, and we're going to take a look at a couple of them between McDavid and McKinnon. And how about the physical play? Well, we know McDavid has been very physical in these playoffs. The hits 39-13 to 13 in favor of McDavid, and you wouldn't think of either of them really being a lot of uh, real physical players but McDavid has stepped up now goals average distance from the net McDavid 13 feet and with McKinnon with that fantastic shot including that great one timer he's out about 10 feet more so 23 feet and the difference is when you look at these two guys, McKinnon has that great one-timer. McDavid's a little bit closer. And keep in mind, that doesn't count empty netters. I just wanted to say.